Hey fight fans, welcome. Today we're diving deep into one of the hottest trends in MMA, the incredible rise of African fighters in the UFC. We'll break down how these warriors are making their mark, changing the game, and look at the stats behind their success. This topic is so exciting, especially in an era where two Africans, Nigerian Israel Adesanya and Drikas Duplessis from South Africa are neck to neck in a fearless bout for the UFC middleweight champion. But for now, let's get into this video on the rise of African fighters. Part 1, The Champions. Let's kick things off with the champs who've put Africa on the MMA map. First up, Nigeria's Israel Adesanya, the style bender. With a professional MMA record of 24 wins and 2 losses, Adesanya held the middleweight title from 2019 to 2023. His striking accuracy of 49% is one of the highest in UFC history. Next, we've got Kamaru Usman, the Nigerian Nightmare. Usman's record stands at 20 wins and 3 losses. He defended the welterweight title 5 times between 2019 and 2022, with an insane 100% takedown defense rate. Don't forget Francis Ngannou, the Predator from Cameroon. With a record of 17 wins and 3 losses, Nganu held the heavyweight title and has the hardest recorded punch in UFC history at 129,161 units. Part 2, The Rising Stars But you see, it's not just about the champions. A new wave of African talent is making waves in the UFC. South Africa's Drikas Duplessis, with a record of 19 wins and 2 losses, is quickly climbing the middleweight ranks. His finishing rate of 90% is one of the highest in the division. Keep an eye on Nigeria's Sodik Yusuf too. With a 12-2 record, he's making noise in the featherweight division, landing an impressive 5.03 significant strikes per minute. Part 3. The African Advantage So what's behind this African surge? Let's break it down. 1. Wrestling Heritage Many African nations have deep wrestling traditions that translate well to MMA. Senegal's Lam Wrestling, for example, has produced fighters like Umar Roig Roig Kane. 2. Athleticism. The explosive power and endurance of these fighters is off the charts. Just look at Nganu's power or Adesanya's movement. 3. Hunger. Many of these athletes have overcome incredible odds, giving them unmatched determination. Nganu's journey from Cameroon to France is a testament to this. 4. Inspiration. Success breeds success. New fighters see their countrymen winning and believe they can do it too. The Adesanya effect is real in Nigeria's MMA scene. Part 4. Global Competition But don't count out the rest of the world just yet. The UFC is a global battleground and every region is bringing its A-game. The USA still produces tons of top talent. Take Sean O'Malley, the current bantamweight champ with a 16-to-1 record and a striking accuracy of 62%. Or John Jones, widely considered the GOAT, with a 27-to-1 record. Brazil remains a powerhouse. Charles Oliveira, with a record of 33 wins and 9 losses, holds the UFC record for most submissions at 16. And let's not forget Amanda Nunes, the GOAT of women's MMA, with a 22-5 record. Russia has been a dominant force too. Just look at Khabib Nurmagomedov's perfect 29-0 record, or Islam Makachev following in his footsteps with a 24-1 record. And we can't ignore the rise of Asian fighters. China's Zhang Weili, with an 23-3 record, has been a two-time strawweight champion. Part 5. The Future of the UFC What we're seeing isn't African dominance, it's African emergence. These fighters are adding new flavors to the sport, pushing everyone to evolve. Let's look at some stats. In 2015, there were only five African fighters in the UFC. By 2023, that number had grown to over 30. African-born fighters now make up about 6% of the UFC roster. The future of the UFC is more competitive and exciting than ever. Whether you're Team Adesanya or Team Duplessis, one thing's for sure. Africa has arrived in the octagon, and they're here to stay. So what's next? As we look to the future, keep an eye on these up-and-coming African fighters. Abdul Razak Al Hassan, Ghana. Don Madge, South Africa, Manon Fioro, France, Ivory Coast Heritage. 
these warriors are poised to make big moves in their respective divisions. The rise of African fighters in the UFC is more than just a trend. It's a transformation of the sport. It's bringing new techniques, new stories, and new energy to MMA. But remember, in the octagon, it's not about where you're from. It's about how you fight. The beauty of the UFC is that on any given night, anyone can become a champion. If you enjoyed this breakdown, smash that like button and subscribe for more UFC content. Drop a comment with your favorite fighter or who you think will be the next breakout star. Until next time, keep your guard up and your mind open. This is the fight game and it's more global than ever. Peace. Peace.